However, Plastics Reprocessing is a proposed company that upcycles a common plastic, PET, such as those found in drinks bottles, into a biodegradable plastic, PHA, using strains of the pseudonym as bacteria. Biodegradable plastic pellets are then exported to nearby companies for manufacturing into new high-quality biodegradable plastic goods, ranging from medical equipment to perishable food packaging. The UK is still one of the worst culprits in the EU for the amount of waste entering landfill, something the government is keen to reduce to meet EU landfill directives within the next half a decade. Currently, the vast majority of plastics are shipped to Hong Kong before being forwarded on to mainland China for reprocessing. Over half of all consumer goods in the UK are packaged in plastic. PET plastic present in our beverage bottles, for example, is currently worth about £140 a tonne, making PET recycling a competitive market, with about 90 PET reprocessing plants spread across the EU. Although PET recycling technologies already exist, using pseudonymous bacteria offers a clean and economical approach for upcycling low-cost waste into a niche market of high-quality biodegradable plastics. PPR is looking at locating a test facility in the Rother Valley, near Sheffield, UK. For over a century, the valley was the industrial heartland of mining, before rapid decline after the events of the mining strikes of the 1980s. As a result of this loss of livelihood, social problems are still persistent in the Rother Valley, with nearly 40% of its population having no formal qualifications. By introducing a cradle-to-cradle -cradle industry back into the area, based on a closed-loop ecological system feeding off consumer waste, we want to provide the opportunities for jobs and livelihoods for a population traditionally rooted in industry whilst changing perceptions of waste as rubbish to a valuable commodity. PET plastic coming into the facility will be sorted from organic and liquid waste, which is composted, with the remaining plastic being heated without oxygen, a process called pyrolysis, which breaks it down into a solid terephthalic acid, oil and gas. The pseudonymous bacteria feeds off the solid element and in the process converts it into the high quality biodegradable PHA plastic, whilst the oil and gas provide the fuel for pyrolysis. The resulting PHA plastic is then transported to local enterprises to manufacture new goods from the PHA pellets using existing plastic manufacturing processes. Locating a test facility in the Rother Valley has one other considerable advantage. It's close proximity to the Advanced Manufacturing Park, a £100 million manufacturing facility of next-generation aerospace and materials technologies, backed by Boeing, Rolls-Royce and the University of Sheffield. We are currently looking for funding for research and development partnering the University of Sheffield School of Architecture and its Polymer Centre alongside its investors to convince the local authorities to build a test facility in the hopes of making the technology commercially viable.